Okay, let's look at graphing another inequality, except this time, let's make it non-linear. If we look at this guy, he's not just a normal line. The square guy gives it away. We know that he's a parabola. Now, some things that we can find out about this guy is that we know that this should be a dashed line. We know that it's supposed to be dashed because we are not equal to, just less than. We know that we will be shading where? It says y is less than, so that means we need to shade below. Okay. Well, let's look at the quadratic itself so we know how to graph this guy. The minus 2 on the inside means I need to go to the right 2 units. And the minus 1 means I need to go down 1 unit. Okay, so let's put all of this together and see what happens. Now, since we have a dashed line or a dashed curve, we know that we need to use open circles. So going to the right 2 and down 1 is my vertex. Now let's just put the rest of the points on here and see what happens. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is going to be 4, 3 squared square would be 9, so I'm off the graph a little bit. Reflect these points back across your axis of symmetry. Okay. Remember that this was your axis of symmetry right here? And now we just need to finish uh, the graph of this guy. So you see that this is a very basic parabolic shape, except now it has to be dashed. And that all comes from the inequality part. So here we go, just kind of sketching this guy out. the dashed line. And since we need to be shading below, below this is going to be down here. Below is going straight down from what you have. So that means, for some of you, on the outside of this parabola. Now, it happens to be on the outside because that's what happens to be below this parabola. So, all of this will be my solution set. Nothing inside here and nothing on the parabola, but just everything on the outside. So you see it's a lot like graphing a parabola, except we just had to pay attention and see it is an inequality, it was going to be dashed, and we had to shade below.